Come on, guys. Today I'm gonna work on getting this solar panel mounted, and uh, I may not have everything exactly how I want or need because I'm either going to space extrusion up off the roof, or I'm gonna need some taller brackets to mount the solar panel. And the roof of these vans are kind of arced, so they're lower on the outside than they are in the middle. Or I may just space up with some washers. I'm not sure. I'm using my quarter inch impact to do a lot of this work. And you can buy these kits like this. This is coming from Lowe's, this is Cobalt. And they already have these adapters on the end that pops in the end of here. But uh, I just want to show you if you don't have, uh, if you have regular drill bits like these, this is the Dewalt brand, that don't have the, the adapters on the end. They make these little small drill chucks that'll pop right in the end of here. And I'll add a link to that too, it comes from Amazon. But that's really nice if you uh, don't have drills like this. Just wanted to show you that. These are what I'm using to mount the extrusion to the top of the van. These are expansion nuts. And it's like a, uh, a rubber that'll collapse that's threaded just on the lower end. So as you tighten up on that, this will squeeze down, expand in the hole. So I'm using these, like I say, these will go in the ceiling of the van. And then uh, I'm using uh, these to get this out. I'm using these in the slot to the extrusion mount the solar panel to. And I'll attach a link to all this stuff here. I had an idea and I wanted to show you right here. I got up on top of the van. This is the piece I cut out for the fan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these, this extrusion on top of this rib of there on the van. And a couple of reasons. One of the biggest reasons is uh, it's going to be a whole lot less likely if you have a leak. This is on a peak and it'll be a whole lot less likely for a lot of water to run down that area because the water just going to run off anyway. Now I'm going to space this up. I'm going to drill through and I'm actually going to space this up with a, maybe a washer or, or a piece of uh, flat sock or something to raise it a little bit higher because I want uh, I want air to be able to get under this. I don't want this laying flat, scrubbing on the van and uh, you know just a place for rust. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit or I may find some uh, like a Delrin or nylon or something and raise it up a little bit. But for now I don't have everything I need and it's right in the middle of the coronavirus scare and I really don't want to go to Lowe's and look for the stuff I need. So. Okay, I broke down, went to Lowe's. I needed some quarter inch screws, so I went to Lowe's. Some things I like to see how they're gonna work before I use them. So this expansion, uh, I went ahead and I drilled a half inch hole. This is a quarter inch expansion nut. Like I say, it's rubber. And then got a brass, it's probably brass uh, thread insert. So I drill my hole a half inch, and then this will get down in there kind of snug. And I've got a plate here. And I'm just gonna screw, screw this down. Right here's underneath. Let me screw that down. Whoa. And as I tighten this, it pulls up. 
and then it seals around that and it feels really good I don't think it'll ever pull loose hey I wanted to mention another thing I like about this is I don't know if uh, you remember or I have it in the video I was talking about I want to space my extrusion up to where it's not metal to metal so this spacer is going to allow that gap under there <clears throat> and you won't have water settling under the extrusion so now I won't have to have any kind of spacer underneath that because this rubber is going to automatically do that for me we a lot of drilling stepping up to the size of one Drilling one end hole first on each side, then I line the extrusion up and drill the other holes. So I drill one hole over there, drill this hole, and then we'll drill the middle hole. Things should line up. Now I'll come back and drill this. I'm not really worried about the expansion nut because I think it should seal fine. Well, it ain't gonna hurt to put a little dab. I just don't want water running down through here and settling inside there. I'm gonna drill right here to take my cables down. So I got me a hole in there and I'm gonna repurpose an old water hose that came out, it actually came off the sprinter, some type of a return line or something. I'm gonna run this down in here and then run my cable down through that. Let's sit way down in there. Like so, run my cable through here, be under here, and it should be good. Let's clean all this up. Just want to lay a thick bead of silicone under this. Yeah, I think Jody brought me this hot call right here. I didn't have none. So I was having a hard time getting that to go down through there. But, spray a little bit of that on the wires, and man, they just slide easy then. This is what I'm using. Come from Lowe's. Okay. I always mount these facing to the rear because when you're driving down the road and it's raining all the uh, water will be blowing in this way so you don't want your water blowing in against your connectors so I always mount these backwards so I'm gonna drill in the side of my panel here and mount these and then that's how I'm gonna mount it to the extrusion Okay, there it is, it's finished. My first solar panel. 
wiring on it but here so I hook my wires up from the solar panel I'm running off nothing but solar and it's cloudy it's cloudy as it can be and nothing but solar and it showing uh, 17 volts is what it shows with no load on it this is the rear LEDs and this is the front LEDs and it's powering them very cloudy nothing but the solar panel so got one more to turn this one on too so it powers all the lights with the solar panel on a cloudy day just wanted to show you that